All right, Spencer Lewis here for Inside Track TV. We got a very special episode of Inside Track TV. We're here hanging out at Sunset Speedway. Special testing session with the 2012 Oscar Super Late Model Tour champion, Brandon Watson. And uh, we're getting prepared for the Snowball Derby. Brandon, real exciting, man. It's a, it's a high profile event. I know you got to be real excited to be headed down to Pensacola at the end of the month. Tell me a little bit about this opportunity that you and your team have. Uh, it's definitely something I'm looking forward to. Um, I think it's going to be a fun weekend for us. Uh, we recently got a car uh, from, uh, from the States there for, for us to race. Um, we're doing some work here. We're testing it here today at Sunset, um, getting, uh, getting a few uh, glitches out of the car. Uh, I'm just really looking forward to going down there, having some fun, and maybe, uh, maybe trying to get a win down there. Now, what kind of history is there with this chassis that, you, uh, that your team has picked up to head down there with? Um, we, uh, we don't have much, much experience with it, but we, uh, we did put a new clip on the Super last year. It's the same, same builder, so we're, we're getting used to it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have some luck with it, and maybe we can figure it out this year. Now, how many sessions have you had so far behind the wheel of this car? Are you, are you getting uh, more accustomed to, to, to driving it uh, in, in preparation for, uh, for the Derby? Uh, I'm getting more used to it. Uh, it's the third time out. Uh, Fortunately, the first couple of times weren't much. Uh, a few problems with the car, but uh, we got some laps in the day. Uh, I'm getting better and better and uh, getting more used to the car, and hopefully uh, we'll have a good car for the Derby. Now, Five Flag Speedway, a notoriously abrasive surface. It's, it's incredibly, it's a hard on equipment, very hard on tires. Uh, what sort of game plan are you guys going to have to formulate heading into the weekend? Uh, it's definitely going to be a tough race. Uh, I bet there's going to be a bunch of strategy. Uh, it's a very long race to our lap, so um, we're going to have to start training for that, get ready for that. Uh, hopefully uh, hopefully have some good luck in the pits. Um, we gain a few spots, hope we don't lose too many. Um, we'll just have to try and get track position and uh, hang on there for the last 50 laps and then go. Now is there a chance that this might be the most physically demanding race that, uh, that you've had as a driver yet? Uh, it's probably probably up there at least. Um, I think it's, it's probably the longest race I've done. Uh, I've done a couple 250 laps, but uh, this is definitely a big race for me, and uh, hopefully I, I should be able to hold on there. Now, Tim Bryant of Five Flag Speedway just put out the press release earlier this week that uh, four tire pit stops are back at the, at the Derby. Uh, in the past, you could only take two stops, or two tires per stop, I should say. It's going to make pit road a lot more hectic. It's also going to put the spotlight right back on your crew and who you have coming over the wall. What sort of personnel are you guys bringing down for the Derby? Uh, we're definitely going to bring down all our, all our guys. Usually, like, they usually have to send the Oscar this year. Um, there's probably like five or six going, and then we're looking into guys down there. Maybe got a few tire changers, stuff like that, uh, just to help us out. Uh, take some time in the pits there, and uh, like I said, just to help us out. And uh, like I said, tire changers and tire carriers. Hopefully, get some of those, and hopefully, uh, we'll be able to pick up a couple spots in pits. Now, the Snowball Derby is the highlight of the weekend. The Snowflake 100, the the Pro Late Model uh, race, is on the undercard, so to speak. Most drivers uh, will start out with the Snowflake get their feet wet down there and then jump up to the snowball once they become accustomed to the racetrack. What you guys have done is just uh, just jump right into the deep end of the pool, which is, can certainly be, a, you, you gotta respect you guys for that, but uh, with all of your Pro Late Model experience, uh, what was the reason that you felt more comfortable jumping into a Super and, and going right for the uh, right for the snowball? Um, I'm not really sure, I guess. Uh, I guess it was just, uh, we jumped into it kind of thing, it was a last minute kind of thing. Um, just got a car and then we decided to put the motor in our, out of our outlaw super into the super and uh, go there and try and see how it goes. Now when word of your uh, of your entry being received sort of hit the internet between Facebook and, and forums and Twitter, I mean it just spread like wildfire. It's as if you're, you're an ambassador for the entire province, the entire country going down. A lot of media attention, a lot of fans are going to be uh, following your progress. Does that put any sort of undue pressure on you as a competitor? Um, I guess it kind of does, but uh, I, like I said, I just got to go down there, try my best, and uh, hopefully get some luck down there, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, show, uh, show down there that us Canadians are good races. After the spectacular 2012 campaign you had on the Oscar Tour, are, are you hoping that the, the momentum is just going to transfer right over because you had a great finish? You, you won the Biederman, you ran well at the velocity, you won Autumn Colors, you, you picked up the championship. I mean, you're flying high right now, and it really hasn't been that long since October. You got to be feeling pretty good uh, getting right back onto the racetrack for December. Yeah, it's definitely a, a good way to end the season, and uh, it's a good way to start going to another race like this. Um, like I said, we had a lot of good races with the Super. Um, I got a lot of experience with the Super, so hopefully, hopefully, I'm, uh, like I said, uh, bring it to this car and hopefully uh, get a good run here in Pensacola and, like I said, come out with a win. Tell me a little bit about the marketing support and sponsors that are going to help get you down to Pensacola. Yeah, of course, gotta thank uh, especially Royal Stripping, Shimano Products, helped us out with the car this year. Uh, this car here, uh, Barry Frame Alignment, Simco Energy Frame Exchange, and uh, 
uh, just any new sponsors want to come help us out, it'd be great. You can contact us at uh, brandonwatsonracing.com. I uh, just really appreciate it. Now, Brandon, I, I know that uh, we're, we at Inside Track are excited. We're going to be following you from Thursday right to Sunday all the way through your, uh, your Snowball Derby experience. We're excited to be tagging along with you. Best of luck with the testing sessions, and we'll see you down in Pensacola. Thanks so much for the time.